Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review is a mouse to long RTA that I have been looking forward for a long time to use. And I'm so impressed by the quality and smoothness of this mouse to long RTA, I decided to review it, although it is not an original. This is the Alton Edge mouse to long RTA style. The original is designed by steam tuners in Greece. The same um, location where my Skyline and the Pursus from Golden Greek. So they are very highly tuned mouse to long RTAs and this is no other. Um, yeah, so I've been very, very pleased with this tank. The overall quality, smoothness of the vape, of the draw, the flavor is superb. Um, fairly easy deck to work on, a bit different than what you're used to. You'll see it in the close-up. Sort of nearly like a postless deck. Uh, not quite, but you'll see it in the close-up. To open up your deck or take off your deck is very easy. You can see here the symbols. You'll see them in a the close-up as well. You just turn it and now when they meet in the middle, you can just lift off your tank of the deck obviously you hold it upside down this is a top fill and you can't undo your deck if your juice flow is open so it's automatic closed juice flow when you lift off and all the way to the left it closes your juice flow so you can um, add liquid so this opens your deck and closes your juice flow and fully to the left opens up your juice flow as you can see here both sides the airflow is fixed but it's um, done with pins like the k um, um light <coughs> through and they give you a eight pins five ten pins ranging from 0 0.8 all the way up to three millimeter and we're going to try this on this review to change it to three millimeter and to see what kind of restricted direct along i get on a one ohm round wire cancel uh, coil that you'll see that I um, did it in the close up. Um, the mouse piece is comfortable. It's a bit wider bore than some mouse to long RTAs. Um, for the simple reason is to give you that restricted direct long if you so choose. But we'll talk about all that after the close up. So let's go to the close-up and then I'll tell you my experience with the Edge Mouse to Long RTA by Alton. See you after the close-up. Right, so let's have a look at the Alton Edge Mouse to Long RTA style. So nothing special with this box. Um, what's in it is most important. So let's have a look what you get. First of all, you get the tank, obviously. And you get a whole bunch of airflow inserts with the 510. Yep. Um, so you get eight in total, ranging from 0 0.8 millimeter all the way up to three. And on the back of each one is actually engraved the millimeter. So let's take one out randomly. And this is 2.5 millimeter. Yeah, so this is the 510. The one I've got in the tank is 1.2. I tried the one millimeter, it's very tight. The 0 0.8 is for me impossible. So those who like really, really tight or airy in both sides of the spectrum, you can find what you need within the airflow inserts 510 that they give you with the tank. As well, they give you um, O-rings and two types of screws. As you can see, one is like a longer one, and this is for the deck, and this is for the post that we'll see in a minute. So let's have a look at the tank. Now, um, I've been using this for a while, 
um, I put in here a core clapped in, fuse clapped in, and today we're going to put in round wire. Uh, and I'll tell you my experience with all those coils. Um, so let's have a look at the tank. Most of it is stainless steel, except for this small window that you can see a liquid. But when you see a liquid, when it's arrived down here, it's fairly low. So that is one um, minus having this type of design. But I know that you can get a clear cap as well. So the mouthpiece is a 510, very comfortable. Although it's a bit wider bore than many mouth to lungs to give you that restricted direct lung if you wish to change the pin to the two and a half or three millimeter pin. And as you can see, the opening here is fixed, very similar to the dwarf, um, but it's a bit even bigger than the dwarf. Yeah, so it's quite a large airflow, but it all channels through the pin depending what pin you've got. So there's no external airflow adjustments. Now to put in your juice is very simple. This is very smooth machining here. Um, and you come to your port. Now you could also have your mouthpiece. You don't have to take off your mouthpiece. That's it. So you can do it either way. Um, by taking out your mouthpiece wouldn't help much for the size of these ports because this is sort of a housing for the mouthpiece. Yeah, now to take this apart, so first you can take the top bit as well apart. Um, so this is your tank section. Now, I tend to keep this inside, you know, this is plastic, this is stainless steel. I rather not mess around with this. But if you want, you hold on to this and you turn the metal one. And there's an O-ring here. But I tend to, so don't ever force it this way. Hold it and open this one like this. It shouldn't damage the threading or the plastic. Now we can see um, how this works, the juice flow. This is the juice flow. So you've got here, as you can see, three like half moon. And on the bottom section, you've got the, other, the complete the other half. So when it's aligned with this one, the one on the right, the juice flow is open. If you start closing it towards the middle, so the juice flow is closed and then you can take off your deck. Very easy mechanism indeed. And here is it, it's tight, but your juice flow, <coughs> juice flow is closed. So you've got all the way to the left, juice flow closed, juice flow closed and open deck. And to the right, it's fully open. Yeah, so this is a very smooth mechanism. One of the easiest, I think it's even easy, easier than the Dwarf, because the Dwarf, you've still got a bit of threading, just two or three turns. Um, certainly easier than the K-Fon Lite um, type of design or, you know, but it's very similar to those that you align and you take off, but it is, it is very s smooth, very smooth. It just, just comes off without having to lift, pull or push is just very effective okay so that's that now this is your um, chimney the dome every all machining here is very well done and you can see all these cutouts and to enable you to um, the juice flow and close your juice flow and to take off your deck and the chimney itself is a very narrow bore so from the coil I'll say is around here to your mouth is a very short distance. So you should get very good flavor. Yeah, so let's put this back. So basically this is your chimney section, mouthpiece, tank section. This comes apart as well and your cap for the liquid. And obviously the deck that we're going to have a look in a minute. Um, so let's put this back 
never over tighten. When you feel it's tight, that's it. Leave it. It holds two mil. So those who like restrict direct lung with the three millimeter insert is very two mil is not so much, but for mouth to lung is is enough. Right now let's have a look at the deck. Now the deck is different than what you, I'm used to. It's sort of nearly like a postless deck, but I'll show you in a minute. And you've got this what they call sleeve. Um, they call it heat distributor, something like that. We'll talk about it on top, and also to assist wicking. So this is very reminiscent to the dwarf. The dwarf also had this type of enclosure. Um, yeah, but the wicking method here is in a way similar to the dwarf, but much less wick, because as you can see, let's take this off. So you just um, take this off, just. It's a plastic thing, you just take it off, no. And um, you can see here, this is where your wick goes. So very similar to the bishop um, style. So you just lay your wick, your coil is gonna go in through these uh, openings here. Let's, let's open these up. Now you've got two screws on either side, flat screws. Um, and you just open these up so your coil basically goes the legs go down here on either side um, yeah so it's a bit different the deck isn't it now before we start building this deck let's have a look at the 510 so you could change your airflow on the fly you don't need to open anything you just go to this 510 and just unscrew it yep so now you can see it's completely hollow um yeah so the five so the airflow goes in through here into the pin up right underneath your coil and you can open further the deck, um, these two screws, um, to clean it, I suppose. I'm not doing it. I can't see the point of it now. So let's just close this. Right. Okay, so this is tight. And now you can see your airflow right over here. We're going to talk about the airflow on top as well. Now to put in your coil is actually the easiest way is holding it in your hand rather than using, uh, putting it on a mod or, or the coil master because you need to move, you'll see what I mean. So what I did, I built myself a Kentel round wire, two and a half millimeter coil uh, I think it's seven wraps here and as you can see I angled the legs a bit so it's like a V shape but the end bit angles you'll see in a minute why and this is the material I used to build my coil for all of you who like to know that so now what you do is um, you simply align the coil legs opposite the opening yeah and you just push it down with your fingers yeah and then you can straighten out the coil later but that's what it is you you see if you see what i'm doing i'm just pushing the coil through um the post and secure it make sure it's centered so now you understand why it's easier in a way to do it while you're holding it then later we'll straighten out the coil i suppose i can straighten out already now because one is already secure I 
hope you don't hear what I'm hearing. The council are pruning the trees or some, some kind of work. Um, a whole morning, today I've got a bit of time to do this. Uh, and exactly today they decided to do their work. I hope it doesn't disturb. So I'm securing the screw here. And that is coil done. That's it. So we just want to now straighten it out. Make sure it's above the airflow. Yep, so that is your coil done. So it's a bit different than, um, you know, uh, different type of pose but this is like it's like a drop um, like you drop in your coil the legs are sort of so you need to angle them in a in a way that they just slide in and now we'll just cut the leads you want to do it right flush other side and now we could use the coil master to do the wicking now, since this is a round wire you don't really need to dry fire but just to make sure that's all in working order I don't even know to be honest um, the ohms uh, because I just done it just now uh, and I didn't test the ohms yet so I hope that it's between 0 0.8 to 1 ohm coil something like that um, let's have a look oh well 0 0.97 so it's perfect yep okay now the wicking method is very easy indeed um, here this is the wick that I just prepared just make sure it's cooled down you just feed the cotton through and what you do is very simple you cut it like you do the, the bishop in a way you cut the cotton right flush against where the cotton has to stay so you don't have much cotton um, after you cut it it's like a little of a bow tie type of design now what you do is see in the in when when um, the dwarf I cut it much longer because the deck it was much wider and sort of round here is like l long and narrow so this is a similar method but a lot less wick it's more similar to the bishop um, so what you do is you give them a good fluff and this is very important because you want the cotton to cover um, the whole surface now you take your sleeve obviously with the juice holes the juice boards opposite the cotton end and you make sure there's no cotton in the bottom of it cut uh, caught between the so, and if if you think there is it's best to take this off before you um, start putting it together because what you don't want is um, cotton stock so what you do is you lift it up give it a good fluff and lift and then you put this back to make sure that there is no cotton so you sort of slide it over gently yeah and you make sure this is in correctly oops I think it's in um well i'm not entirely sure so let's take this off again 
and we'll do it again just to make sure I mean I could do this faster but I want to make sure that it's that you see exactly what I'm doing so the juice flow holes have to be aligned with the wicking ends and now it's in you see so the black o-ring is covered by the sleeve and you just gently tuck in your cotton without pushing them down too much because you want the cotton to be fluffy here that the juice when it comes in here of feed the cotton feed the coil not accumulate on the bottom where you might get gurgling it's a very easy method I mean you have to do it once twice the only thing I, 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 I um, have to be cautious about is that the cotton doesn't get caught um, underneath the sleeve so in some ways you can put the sleeve after you've done the wick and feed it through like I've done the dwarf and then cut it and then tuck it in but in this way it is you, you know the right size uh, and it's done so this basically is done now so that's the way it should look like yeah so you got your cotton ends meeting the juice flow with your wick with absorb the liquid yeah okay so now I just need to prime it I'm going to use the Drake's Kentucky mild um, yeah and this is a 70 VG this method will work um, also on 50 50 blends if you do the wicking the way I've done it that it covers the whole surface um, so you can see that when the um, um, juice gets in it will be absorbed by the cotton and nothing will be leaking anywhere that's it Let, let's give this just to make sure it's vapor yeah so now what you do is you uh, let me just add just a little bit more you align your tank with that um, right over here so you can see that now if I go like this let me tighten this if I go like this the juice flow now is shot and if I go like that the juice flow is open so I want to keep the juice flow shot um, so like this and also when you take it off a mod always it would always um, you always shut the, the juice flow and then you turn it off the mod so it's also works with the threading that when you take it off the mod um, the juice flow is closed and also when you take off the deck the juice flow is closed so this is a very a neat and clever design so let's fill up this tank so I mean it's not the biggest opening to put in juice I must admit but uh, if you do it gently it's fine so you have to, s to see when the juice yeah, that's it it's full and just simply close it okay so now it's all done we just open the juice flow that's it so this tank is now ready to vape now I'm gonna use it on my Vaporesso Swag PX80 with the 510 adapter now I'm sure you watched my uh, review on it and um, it comes up as a one ohm exactly one ohm one ohm best 9 to 15 watts but I vape it on 16 
So, let's give this a quick vape. Very nice flavor. Flavor is very nice. The airflow is very smooth. Um, fairly silent as well. And what makes this tank is the flavor, the smoothness of draw, compact tank, um, and it's various, um, fairly easy deck to work on as soon as you get the hang of it. Um, it is a very nice um, system to work because you can take off your deck easy, you can, you know, it's very easy to control um, your juice flow. Um, the only problem is because of this little window here, so when you see that you're already running low, it's quite low. Uh, yeah, to put in your juice is very easy. Okay, look, I'm gonna finish off this review when I've got a few minutes back on top and I'll tell you my experience um, with the Alton Edge mouth to long RTA style style yeah <laughs> okay right so for you it'll be just one second right so you've seen the close-up and you've seen how this tank works very easy the only thing I must tell you that um, <clears throat> the wicking method I've used for me, it is tried and tested. Um, and if you watched my review on the dwarf, the wicking method on the dwarf is similar but different because the dwarf is, you need a lot more wick, um, like sort of a harp, like a horseshoe type of design, more like an RDA type. Um, but this one is more reminiscent to the bishop where it's narrow and sort of lay a wick on top of those two shelves, what I call it. The only thing is that you must make sure that you lift your wick by fluffing them and sort of when you put the sleeve in to make sure that none of the wick gets caught because what happens is it um, takes away that seal so any excess liquid runs down that wick and goes down and it should really stay within that enclosed compartment with that sleeve that they call it uh, heat reduction um, and the inner sleeve that doubles as a heat reduction element and assists the wicking so it's a bit similar to the dwarf in that sleeve but without the cap the never forget me cap of the dwarf but more similar to the to the bishop but a bit more wick than the bishop um to basically cover that two sides properly right now i've been using in here various types of coil from core clapton all mouth to long uh, you can't really put in a bigger coil you could put in a three millimeter in a diameter coil but then what I find is that um, you need really to vape it, restrict it direct to lung, because you need more wick. Um, and then you need to increase your power. So if you're mouth to longer, that you're using mouth to long coils, uh, two and a half millimeters is perfect. The round wire cantle that I've got in here is absolutely perfect flavor. And as you notice, it's very silent and very smooth. Nearly as silent as, as the Fev. Yeah. But the same smoothness of draw. Although the Fev has got the pins from the sides, this has got the pin from the bottom, but it's a very smooth, silent draw. Yeah. Now, although the opening here is fairly wide, and you would have thought there will be turbulence, um, like for instance, it's similar size to 
the dwarf. Um, yeah, the opening. The cave on light is much smaller. And also the cave on light on the 510 has got like a groove in it. So when the air comes in through this hole, it sort of um, smooths out within the, the 510 pin. So you get a super smooth draw with the five with the aircon pin. And a similar concept on the um, Spiker Pro with the air pin in the bottom as well is got the, like a star shape, so the air again distributes very equally. And it's and well, it's not quite like the Bish, like the Sputnik, where you've got a plate inside with those various holes that again it takes through this fixed small hole. I'm showing you those who have got haven't got external. Uh, airflow except for the spiker that does but it's a similar 510 airflow system in here as well uh, this is the a masterpiece in airflow engineering uh, you have to watch the review on the Sputnik and the air plate that they've got in here is masterpiece but the result is a very turbulent free smooth draw on the edge is a very similar draw But you feel a bit that uh, it's like a forced um, smoothness type of thing. It's very difficult to describe it. Um, <coughs> if you don't try them against the others, it's sort of because the air is coming in through this big opening and sort of going into that tiny hole of the 1.2 millimeter hole that you've got in the pin that I've showed you. Yeah, into this hole here. And then up the 510, but this is the three millimeter that I'm going to try soon, but the, um, it goes through a 1.2. And if you put in the one millimeter or the 0 0.8, it is very tight. So one can find here the perfect mouth to long draw, but the smoothness of the edge is a bit different than the K4 Lite, for instance. Um, or the Spiker Pro or the Sputnik, it's more, you feel it's more like sort of um, forced, uh, you know, the air coming in in a velocity through this opening, but forced into that tiny hole and right, up to, uh, right underneath your coil. But the end result here is a similar smoothness and silent draw you're getting on all those just on, for instance, on the Sputnik, you just feel that um, I can't describe it more than I'm trying. It's like, um, um, how should I put it? The 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 end draw, you know, when you when you draw in your air through the mouthpiece, it is um, supremely smooth with those pins that have got an air disbursement mechanism or the plate. This is more straightforward in the pin, so it's smooth. It's very, very smooth, but it just lacks that, um, you know, the end smoothness of it. I, I can't describe it any better. It's very smooth and silent. Now, if I would, um, now you have to always make sure that when you lift this or when you unscrew your, your tank off the deck, always do anti-clockwise so that automatically shuts your juice flow, right? And then you can undo it from the model. But in this case, I am pulling it off. So I'm closing the juice flow to make sure that the deck doesn't come off when I pull. Yeah. It happened to me with the dwarf. I twisted off this pin and by mistake I undone the whole deck. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the three millimeter inner diameter the three millimeter, three millimeter air pin and to see if there is a difference in this the smoothness that I'm getting from the draw 
that it wouldn't be so constricted from a wide opening, a fixed wide opening, into a tiny hole on the, f on the pin. But just also, it just shows you how easy it is to do on the fly. So you can do this without disturbing anything within the tank. Right. So now the three millimeter is in. So let's open up the juice flow. So you simply turn this all the way and you know your juice flow is open. I, s I put back this pin, this plate, 510 plate, the Vaporesso that I reviewed. So I like this mod. Right. Now let's try it on restricted direct to long. Very smooth. And, <coughs> and the throat it is a bit stronger now. <laughs> yeah, it's a nine milligram. <coughs> I haven't tried this until now, but I wanted to keep it <coughs> for the review to see if it makes a difference in the smoothness. Mouth to long you can't do on the three millimeter. So you could put in a bigger coil and higher wattage, but not for tobacco. It's a bit noisier. But it's a very nice restricted direct to long. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back. Um, let me just close the take out this pin and put it back on mouth to long and see the difference but just comes to show you how easy it is to do um, and you've got an option from eight different pins that you get with the tank that is very very um, big con, uh, big pro. Right, let me put back where did I put that one? Here we go. It's very smooth. I mean, the machining here is top notch. I must admit that the machining here is really good. All right, so let's have a look. Hmm. The restricted, the airflow has changed from a restricted direct along to a proper mouth to long. And this is the 1.2. If I would have put in the one, oh, the 1 1.8 or uh, the um, 0 0.8 I've got here all on my hand I don't want to lose them um, here this is the 0 0.8 I don't know you can see it but it is a tiny hole a tiny hole and this will become so tight that you would not be I, I wouldn't be able to vape it For me, the 1.2 is perfect. The smoothness of the draw is supreme. It's just I feel that because it's forced through this bigger hole into that pin, you feel it. You feel it, and you know, you know yeah, it's like, you feel it. But it, the smoothness is absolutely undeniable. And it's silent. I never had a problem of, of of wicking problems in this method. Every draw is perfectly saturated. Um, it does the job marvelously. And another thing, this juice flow is a lot less sensitive from as the skyline. The skyline is hardly open. 
I keep it nearly shot on a 70 VG and in here I've got the English mixture from La Tabacaria it's a very bold smoky tobacco the draw here is also very very smooth indeed but this is already with an insert on the on the deck it's a different style <coughs> this is a much different type of mouth to long RTA is it's designed with a lot of uh, ingenuity but the end result is simplicity everything is done behind the scenes and what you're getting is a fully top flavor that we're going to talk about in a minute the saturated vape very nice mouth to lung now the original cost 155 euros the problem is that to get it shipped to the uk is a problem And if they do ship it, um, they charge you quite a pretty penny for it. Because it's no longer, UK is no longer considered EU. So it's considered international. So for me to spend nearly uh, 170 or 180 euros, even if I can get a hold of it, um, <clears throat> as I said in my previous reviews, um, it's just, for me, it's it's just not not worth the money well if i can get this quality from alton um it comes to the same old question that I always say it when i review clones this is the dilemma uh now i've got another clone uh, that I, I bought and this is the 415 mouse to long rta superb mouth to long RTA superb but it's a different type of mouth to long RTA this is European this is Japanese but I think the quality of these tanks are supreme supreme this is the SXK and this is the y the um, Alton Uh, well, I mean, yeah, so this is where we're at at the moment. Um, to get this type of high quality mouth to long RTAs uh, in a price that fits everyone's pocket is, in my book, a win win. Yeah. So, my overall experience of this tank has been basically flawless, um, f only enjoyment, top flavor. The flavor, I must tell you, here is absolutely superb. I use a lot this word superb. I can say it's outstanding, it's mind-blowing, it is awesome, it is, um, you know. When I say superb, I mean all the above. It, the, I can't, this, this flavor is absolutely spot on. I would not compare the flavor to original mouse to long RTAs. But as, as I always say, if this was the original, um, so the original can only be better or it can't be worse, obviously. So it can only be better. That I, I doubt very much it would. I would love to hear your comments if you've got the Edge original and the Alton. That's the only way. One guy asked me in um, one of the comments or live chat, I can't remember what it was, why don't I buy the original and the clone and compare them both? I said, well, it defies the whole purpose. Um, if I'm going to spend the money on the original, why should I buy the clone? Obviously, original is number one priority um, to buy. But if I can't get a hold of the original, then the only way for me is the clone. Or it's too expensive that I don't want to to spend so much money it's not you can't afford it it's just i don't allow it to myself spend so much money on a mouth to long rta so there's no point of doing that but um, i doubt very much if people do do it buy the original and the clone what's the point but 
the experience I'm getting from it, looking at the tank as it is, is superb. Absolutely superb. Smooth draw, um, silent, flavor, top flavor. Um, easy to coil and to wick, as you've seen. How to put in your coil is so easy. You can do it with your hands. I prefer doing it with my hands. Uh, it's compact. I'll show you um, size-wise. I can compare it to original uh, against the K4 Lite, more or less the same size. Oops. And also, it's a very secure tank. I dropped this a few times now, and because the window here is so small with the plastic, this tank is a very secure tank. Um, so this is the the sizes against the K4 Lite, against the Dwarf. Obviously, the Dwarf holds more liquid. That's a big plus to it. Um, yeah, no branding at all. If you didn't know that this is the edge, you would not know except for the base. That's the only place where it's written edge. Nowhere else is the branding at all not. Like the k Light, except for the k Light, it's got on the mouthpiece. But um, the design of the k Light gives it away. Um, the Dwarf is got branding here, but very delicate, very discreet. The Skyline R also hasn't got branding. It's a similar, but the design again gives this away. The, star, the triangle on the top to change your juice flow. Uh, I just love this type of mouth to long RTE, the simplicity of it, and at the same time, it's built to last and easy to, to use. Um, it's not here to show off brand it that you can you can't you can't miss it from a mile this is so discreet um i, ju I just love this type of mouth to long rtas yeah superb i'll put below the features of this mouth to long rta and uh, the specifications um, if you want to buy the original, you have to go to Steam Tuners, or if you put in Google, you've, it's very difficult to get a hold of the original, especially if you live in the UK. Um, yeah, so that is the review on the Edge by Alton. Very happy indeed. Now, I'm not sure which review will be uploaded first. Is it the Edge or the 415? Um, I think the Edge will be uploaded first because this is a newer tank. The 415 has been out for quite a while, so it wouldn't harm to wait another week or two. But when I review this, I did not mention this tank at all because I didn't have it. So if I do upload the Edge first, I mentioned the 415 and I'll say the same story again in the 415 I already said it the review is done um, about the clone versus original when it comes to my personal preference or style of vaping and my mess my ideology behind it I don't know if all agree but for me it's um, it's the simplest way of enjoying top mouse to long RTAs for a price that I don't feel so much. Yeah, so this was the review on the Edge from by Alton. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, oh, one more thing. For those who like to know about how does it work with different type of naturally extracted tobacco? I must tell you that this tank is superb in all flavor profiles. I've been using here Smoky, Bold, from Latakias to Periques to Virginias to even with a fruit, um, Drake's Fusion and with vanilla custard, the uh, um, Don Benito from Juice Cabin has got like custard vanilla with tobacco. All of them are superb flavor with this mouth to long RTE. In contrast to the Spiker Pro that I only put in here 
menthol or fruity tobaccos because the throated on here is just too much on very bold smoky tobaccos even with the cap raised all the way on the top um, this tank is superb as well I really enjoy this tank but with softer liquids this one I could use bolder tobaccos and the throated is manageable you get a throated but not as bad if I do it restricted direct lungs you've seen then the throated is more considerable because, because this is in the end of the day a 9 milligram but if you like yours restricted direct along you can change this on the fly with the pins that they give you supplied all in all this is catered for all types of vapors and fully enjoy this edge mouth to long RTA by Alton yep okay so until the next review take care enjoy your vape bye bye for now